everybody and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Laura and today I'm going to be sharing with you a kind of new equipment haul so let's jump right in I actually got um, two big heavy <laughs> new equipments or like boxes with equipment like as you can see um, I've been filming YouTube videos now for about one and a half years and at the beginning I always used my dear good old oh <laughs> my dear good old phone it's I think an iPhone 7 and I usually filmed with this but after a while I got really fed up with um, the quality of the video um, and also like the sound quality especially because you can't can barely hear any voices and uh, that's why about like a year ago I decided to go ahead invest some money and purchase a real camera you're looking at that one right now I'll show you in a moment I got um, a Canon G7X power shoot wait where is it written power shot probably mark two i'm also going to quickly talk a little bit about what i think are some essentials um to start shooting or like filming when you want to start your youtube channel or are start uh, like a new youtuber i'm still also a new youtuber but i'm not like super super new youtuber anymore so um if you are considering starting a YouTube channel or if you're just started and you're thinking what do I really need um, then I can maybe help you out a little bit um, first and foremost I think you need something which you can shoot with obviously either a camera or a smartphone with a camera although it's important to to make good quality content that means not only that the content needs to be good quality high quality also the um, image quality and the sound quality needs to be very good or like needs to be at least acceptable so um, I do not recommend shooting with um, older phones or iPods or stuff like that um, it just shows and I also regret um, doing that a little bit on my older videos and since there are so so many cameras available and there's so many options that you can choose from uh, either cost-effective or like really expensive high-end cameras I just wanted to talk to you about my personal experience using a Canon G7X um, PowerShot Mark II This is a really common um, vlogging camera you could say, a lot of YouTubers have it That's why I also decided to get it after reading a lot of reviews and um, I can tell you it's exactly what you need as a starting YouTuber, I think, as a starting uh, content creator. Um, it does what it needs to do, it does it well, and it's really easy to understand and handle. So uh, I think Canon G7X is definitely worth your money. It's also very budget friendly, I would say. Um, I think mine I got for around 480 euro or dollar, I'm not very sure which currency it was. So, um, yeah since you know if you know that some cameras can go up to like five thousand dollars or euros then this is like a very affordable camera and it does think does what it needs to do very very well so uh, i would definitely recommend getting um, a canon g7x um also what you also need during um in the beginning or at least if you're planning to move around or even shoot a video at home is a tripod right now i'm using my oh sorry for that <laughs> my manfrotto uh, tripod it's a short tripod it can be handheld as well it's like maybe 20 centimeters max 18 20 centimeters i think um and this one is super 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 durable manfrotto is a knowledge and knowledgeable renowned brand uh for tripods um and again this one is pretty cheap it's like 3000 yen um which is like 24 25 euros and um i've been using it now for two years straight and it's really really good i think i'll show you it later but since I'm shooting more and more videos now um, at home since Corona and also because I want to create more um, like special content or some more creative content if that's what you mean if, if you know what I mean um, I have to shoot outside sometimes or shoot in like different rooms and um, the house here that I'm living in in Japan with my Japanese family doesn't have the 
a lot of space to shoot easily and there's not a lot of places where I can put um, my camera on on the right height so I've been really struggling for example today too I'm sitting on the ground I have like an old box from my almond milk on the ground and then I have like one two three four five six seven seven books stapled together and on top of that i put my tripod so i could have at least a little bit the right height but like still i'm not <laughs> i'm not like easily fully in screen so yeah you do get what i mean that you need definitely you definitely need a tripod to for filming unless you have like a high table or something that you can put it on um but since i really needed to get a higher tripod um I decided to invest some money into this little baby. <laughs> this is the KNF Concept tripod. I decided to get this one for a very special reason actually. It's first and foremost made of aluminium, so it makes it pretty light but also super super durable. And it can be converted into a hiking um, stick for the lack of a better word. Uh, let me quickly show you It's hard to open up but it's okay. I already got this two days ago and I've been like <laughs> Like using my patience and not opening it. Okay. Oh Oh, it comes in a bag even that's very nice I got this from Amazon and it was delivered like within a day like a day after I ordered it. I got it already Ooh. So when you open the box it looks like this. That's really nice. It has a hand holding place. It's two zippers. Really nice. And it has like a little logo here, KNF concept. That's really nice. Oh, and you can eat it has velcro. That's really good. I didn't expect it to come in a bag, but that's really nice. This weighs maybe approximately a kilo, I think. So it's not the lightest, but it's also not like you're going to be um, walking around with this a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, let me open it up for you. So inside his, we have another strap if you want to wear it on your shoulder, probably. That's so nice. I didn't expect that. It was not in the description of the product, actually. And then in here, yes, that's everything. We have the woo, <laughs> the tripod itself. If, as you can see, it's pretty compact, but it can be um, it can be unfolded to become two meters high. Like that's damn tall. Um, and this is where you screw the what's it called camera on. Underneath my camera, you have like a digital camera. So you have usually a little uh, screw where you can put stuff on. Oh, and as I said, said here on the end, you can take these things off, I heard. Yes. And then it's like this. So this could be either used. This is just my idea, but it could be used, for example, if you're in a park or in the forest. I want to make sure that your camera is not going to uh, fall over or drop. Um, you could actually use this to like pin it into the, the mud or like to ground a little bit and um, have some extra stability. But also these ones are like rubber, so it's like anti-slip, you could say. This is not going to move easily, I think. And um, on top of that, this can be used. You can take these legs off and use it as a hiking thick <laughs> hiking equipment um, especially if you are in the mountains or somewhere and since I uh, would really really like to go to New Zealand sometime or possibly even move there um, if we were to move there or go there I think we'd be hiking also because that's one of my dreams and this could come in very handy if I want to film it and also hike easily so that's even better okay so if you unfold woo! <laughs> Okay, if you unfold it, interesting. Ah, oh, there's some locks here, so you can lock it. That's number two. Number three. It can also be converted into a selfie stick even. And it has a little hook here that you can hang something on. That's really nice. Okay, so I switched now tripods. As you can see, this is my Manfrotto little handheld tripod I always use. I <laughs> have like a sticker of Laura on it. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's like really easily movable. 
can be handheld, can be put somewhere, it has three legs and it has like a ball head so you can like turn it in whatever direction you want which is really good and yeah now I'm using like the other tripod and I have to say wow I'm really really happy with it um yeah it, I put it on the lowest stand so the legs are completely spread apart and like almost touching the ground um but it's very sturdy like I'm pushing now on the camera on the tripod it doesn't do anything and it has a ball head so um, it can be moved in whatever direction I want it can be turned 360 degrees I'm really really happy about this but let's go and uh, unpack then my second item that I invested in so what you really, really need probably when you start first uh, making YouTube videos is just like a tripod and something you can film with either a good smartphone or um, an affordable camera that's it probably what you need in my opinion um, but since I'm a little bit far, far further uh, down along the road I also decided to get some uh, lights um, this is a 12 inch ring light let me open this up and I got this in a flash sale at Amazon uh, which made it a bit more cheap than usual that's why I decided to get it because I've been thinking a long time, should I get it, should I not get it? And um, yeah, I finally decided to get it. Also because I'm going to film uh, the try-on haul for two. So if you open it up, ooh, it looks like this inside. Ta -da. Let me put it here where it's safe. So this comes as well with a kind of tripod, but this is more like a stand for the ring light itself, you could say. Um, I'm not going to open this now. And there is a little guide line or guidebook for you. This, this is an LED ring light and it's from a brand called... What's it brand? Tao Koko. Tao Koko. Um, this is also from Amazon. I got it from the Japanese Amazon and you can adjust the lights however you want them. So it can be like white light, a medium, warm, cool tone mixed light and a warm tone light. And within those three um, color settings, you can also adjust the color, li the lighting however you want. So that's really nice. Okay, so I just put the ring light on and that makes such a huge difference um i'm going to put it down a little, like how you say that put it a bit lower because right now it's like quite high it's higher than my camera anyways um wow damn i like it <laughs> wow it makes such a huge difference when filming this is um the white light i believe and i have here like a little um, switch you could say so if I push like one more time ooh, this is the how, how do they call it here in the hand in the note this is the warm white color really beautiful I like it and then this is the yellow light I don't think I'll be using yellow light a lot but ooh, this is really white white yellow white I'm warm Ooh. and I can also adjust the brightness so this is now my white light it's getting a bit brighter and I can also turn it down you see up and down again so it's really nice and um, yeah, it comes with a USB type cable. So if you have something like um, your charger for your iPhone or something which has a USB port then you can easily plug it in, but you can't plug this cable directly into the um, into the um, what's it called? Into the outlet. I don't know. I'm not a native English speaker. Okay, so that's it for today's haul, I would say. Um, there's only two items I got this time, but it will make a huge difference, I think, when I'm going to film uh, in the future. And it will definitely make a huge difference when I'm going to film this week on Thursday. Uh, so definitely stay tuned for Saturday's video. It's a really, really fun one and lots of people have been looking forward to it. Um, yeah, so to recap it, recap it, 
recapitulate um what i think you need when starting to vlog or starting youtube is something to film with either a good smartphone or um, a budget-friendly camera and a tripod apart from that in, at the start i don't think you really need anything if you're like me um trying to be a little bit more serious um about youtube and have already like uh come or like have already uploaded for a while for me it's like one and a half years now um I'm not saying you have to wait until this point obviously not but um trying to really focus a lot on my channel lately and trying to make it better and improve the quality of it so that's why i decided to go ahead and like buy um, a big tripod like something that will help me film um a bit more freely and also a ring light to make it a bit more brighter <laughs> so yeah that's kind of what i think you do need sorry for that noise the two products i got today are really easy to set up i didn't even check the 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 setup guide or something for the tripod i just did what what i thought i had to do it's like, pretty easy to figure out for the um, ring light i did check this one like the little guideline or gui helping book um but it took me like five minutes to set it up so it's really easy still um if you're interested in any of these products or any of the products i've been using like my mount throttle tripod my camera this kmf uh, concept tripod or this tao coco ring light then i will link it below because i think they're quite budget friendly but good quality products so um um, yeah, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video on um, what is it? Next video on Saturday and last but not least um, Let me thank you everyone for supporting me this far uh, Down along the way and I hope we can become a real community in the future as well So thank you very much and see you next time <laughs>